gentlemen, the Honorable Jeff Fortenberry, United States Representative from the 1st District of Nebraska. Madam Speaker, esteemed colleagues, members of the Ponca Tribe, all my friends from Nebraska, all those who are here to help us celebrate this wonderful unveiling, welcome, welcome to the United States Capitol. Let me also thank especially Chairman Larry Wright of the Ponca Tribe and Judy Goshkabash, who runs the Nebraska Commission on Indian Affairs for their tireless efforts to see this day to completion, and all of you who have had a hand in making this happen today. We are all so excited and proud. The unveiling of a statue is a time-honored tradition. And we ask ourselves, why? Why? Because remembrance is a living thing. We reach back through remembrance and feel the past. We touch the nobility of another person's life. And we connect to the universal meaning of that person's sacrifice. And so today, we are overjoyed to welcome Chief Standing Bear to the United States Capitol and acknowledge his remarkable journey. We also say goodbye to Williams Jennings Bryan, a three-time Democratic presidential candidate, Secretary of State, author of, one of perhaps one of the most famous American speeches, The Cross of Gold, who served in this particular congressional district for four years, and whose house was a mile from where I live today in Lincoln, Nebraska. Williams Jennings Bryan was a voice for the common man crying in the prairie wilderness. Chief Standing Bear was an earlier American, a first American, crying in that same prairie wilderness. Yet few understood, perhaps until now. You see, friends, the gift of America is really this. We, we tether ourselves to what is permanent and noble and ideal. Just look around at this beautiful hall. And at the same time, we challenge ourselves to refresh, to change, and to become better. Chief Standing Bear's courage makes us all better. It is almost unthinkable to us today that it wasn't until 1879, after Standing Bear's trial, that Native Americans were declared to be persons for consideration of the law. Chief Standing Bear didn't seek to be a civil rights leader. He simply wanted to bury his dead son on their ancestral homeland. And in doing so, he called forth the essence of human dignity. And he changed the course of history in that transcendent moment when he raised his hand and said, I am a man. God made us both. Yes, he did, great Ponca chief. Yes, he did. Welcome to the United States Capitol. Welcome all of you here today.